What's going on, my little piglet? It's your BFF Pork Chop here, and I'm coming at you with another food review back here in Portales at the McDonald's in Portales. I don't think I've ever reviewed anything from this McDonald's, and this might be the last time I come to Portales for a while because the reason why I'm here is because Jocelyn had a going away party last night, and I surprised her, so it was awesome. Her friend Kelsey and I have been setting this up for weeks, and it went smoothly. It went perfectly, but anyway, enough about that. I'm here because a few weeks ago on the You Now stream, I had a piglet ask me to go to McDonald's and review the Southwest chicken salad, and for all you people that say, oh, you're such a fat ass, you really should eat a salad once, fatty, well, guess what? I got a salad because I like salads. Here is the Southwest salad with chicken. No cilantro lime glaze because that is just awful. Cilantro is one of those things that I can taste like miles away and I don't like it. We got grilled chicken as well as beans and corn. We got these tostada strips, carrots. Ooh, this, that chicken smells really good. That smells really good. I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze this lime all over the salad because that's how Papa likes to rock and roll. There we go. And it does come with a Newman's own Southwest dressing. So let's go ahead and drizzle this on top of it. Let's drizzle it everywhere. Woohoo! Racking up those calories. The only way I know how. Now let's see what that tastes like by itself. Ooh, it's got kind of a smoky type of flavor to it. I think they already cut up the chicken. So I'm just gonna mix it all in. It is a process, folks. When you get a salad, pretty much at any restaurant, it's pretty much an I Ikea furniture of food because you have to do it yourself. You gotta mix it the way that you want to. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get a good portion here. Piece of chicken, piece of that tostada, some beans and some corn. There you go, right there. Mmm. Mmm, really good. Oh my gosh. Okay, right off the bat, I can tell you some of my favorite things are that grilled chicken is juicy. It's hot. It's fresh. I like these little tostada strips. Mmm, the corn and the beans are a nice touch as well. And did I mention that dressing? Because I don't think I did. That dressing is awesome on the salad. At first, I thought not having the cilantro lime glaze was going to was gonna alter the flavor. And it probably did, but... I don't think it needs it. This is great without the glaze even. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get the pros and cons. Pros here are the chicken is juicy. The dressing with the chicken is a nice added glaze flavor to it. The crunchy strips and the corn and the beans, fantastic. I would definitely get this again, especially if I'm trying to eat something light, you know, before, you know, a big dinner or something like that for lunch. Cons here are this did come to like five bucks. This is this is five bucks, a little ridiculous, considering I can get a cheeseburger for a dollar, but hey, I guess eating healthy costs more money, right? This is just nitpicking, but I am a crouton eating champion when it comes to salads. I wish this came with croutons, but it does not, but that's okay. The only complaints that I have, on a scale of one to 10 piglets, I'm gonna have to give the Southwest salad with grilled chicken from McDonald's. This bad boy is getting an eight out of 10. If they had croutons on it, it would have gotten a nine out of 10. And if it wasn't expensive, this thing would have gotten a pork chops kick ass seal of approval, but that's okay. This is good. McDonald's, you really outdid yourself making a salad like this. Congratulations, I appreciate it. And I wanna thank that piglet that gave me the recommendation. Don't know the name because it was just in passing. Guys, have you tried this? What is your favorite thing at McDonald's? You know, I always ask you. And uh, of course, you can hit that subscribe button right there if you're not a piglet to become a piglet. Just stay in touch with my videos. You can also go like me on Facebook, follow me on Vine, Twitter, and Snapchat. All those links are down in the description. And always remember my little piglets. Colin Port Shop loves y'all the most. I shall take it easy, guys, and I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys.